What I foresee in the next 10 to 20 years is robots working alongside farm workers, helping to improve their working conditions, but also trying to make farming more economically and environmentally sustainable. I'm seeing a big increase in the ability for robots to use sensor data and analyze that sensor data, which is a first step to actually doing any real task. You used to hand code it all the time. The advances in AI and deep learning are really helping us to basically map that sensor data to an actual action on the robot. Obviously, our food supply is critically important. So we have been working for several years to develop an apple picking robot. And of course, a robot that's gonna pick apples and needs to see the fruit in the tree, it needs to reach for it, it needs to pick it, and then it needs to store it in a bin. Modern deep learning techniques are really good at finding fruit and color images, but we're working on those edge cases where we're trying to develop techniques and algorithms to discover fruit that are hidden behind leaves within the canopy of a tree. We're also working on the design of a mechanism, a gripper to pick fruit and navigate the clutter of a tree. We have been working with growers. So they go out in these commercial orchards and they very carefully prune their trees so that they have the right distribution of branches and buds and things like that. They have a lot of sort of internal knowledge that's hard to explicitly articulate. We can use virtual environments and actually grow trees with particular branches and particular spaces and then ask, which one would you prune? And give them the results in a way that makes sense to them so they can actually see the tree before and after. I've been fortunate enough to talk to a lot of farmers about this type of technology. And I would say my experience is there's a mix of excitement about the potential of this technology, but also a little bit of hesitancy. Can they work as robustly and efficiently as their tractors? We're working with large complex systems and an individual researcher on their own can't solve all these problems. So you have to kind of do hardware in, software in the middle, and then hardware back out again. And if you don't understand the hardware limitations, you're gonna write terrible software. And if you don't understand what the software can do, your hardware won't do anything. And that input and those algorithms are very important to the hardware folks who are designing arms and grippers to go and pick fruit or prune branches. There's a very strong interplay between these two different subfields. So for example, my collaboration with Joe Davidson, he's got a lot of the mechanical smarts and then I've done more of the software side. And so when we meet in the middle, we can do things that neither of us could do independently. OSU is part of the AI Institute for Transforming Workforce and Decision Support, and that is a national USDA research institute focused on AI and ag. Not just that, but as the state's public land grant university, OSU Extension is all throughout the state, and they really help us get out into the real world and evaluate our technologies and systems. Robotics as a field has come a long way, but we barely scratched the surface of the potential of the field. And I think robotics has a, a lot of potential to help with some of the society's biggest problems that we're gonna see over the upcoming decades.